Hey guys, being here. Um, let's have some fun today. So we are going to model these chips. Okay. So no, just kidding. Actually, um, we are going to model these sh shades. So these ones, and we are going to make it uh, parametric. So this will be the final product. So you can change the the length. The width and the height. Okay, so let's start. So uh, first, I'm going to so first create a generic model adaptive. Okay, so first go to floor plan, reference ellipse, and uh, and click on this. Um, what's that? Make make this temporary dimension permanent. Okay. So and then select this dimension and create a let's let's call it R1 instance. Same R2 instance. Okay. So now we need to create two uh, parameters for the overall depth and the width. So let's let's create a depth instance, okay, and a width instance, okay. So now let's temporarily just give them a number for them, and then we can add a parameter. So R one here. So let's say this is depth, and okay, so equals depth divided by two, and R two equals width divided by two. So apply. Okay, so now you can um, you can yeah I like to so even R one because I don't want to have also so many options here so you can control so, uh, I will just edit R one and then put them on the other so uh, other. And then so later so you will only have this and the, these ones will go down so you won't see them normally so okay and then so let's so you can ch ch uh, control this this shape using depth and width so now the next step is to so because we are we try to create a shape so if I go so this one, so this is the shape we're going to create, and then it need we need three spline, so one, two, and three. Okay, so so now what we need is we need a height. So from this edge, we need a point here, and then go up. Yeah. Okay. So now point, draw on face, and then. Just pick this this end, okay, and also this. Mm, so now the next steps is the next step is set work plan steel point set work plan set place it on tab tab and select the horizontal reference plan and then place a point there and you can drag this up. So now this offset will become the height. Yeah. So create a, a height parameter instance. Okay. And okay. So repeat. Set work plan. Tab tab. Click. Okay. Then try to select select it, and then let's offset. Link to height. So it will go up. Yeah. So now we need um, this point and this point. So we draw it from this point. Set work plan. Click. Then okay, and then drag it horizontally. So same. That's offset. But this offset will equals R1. So just link this to R1. 
and repeat. Go here. And this one will be negative. So what we need to do is create a R1 negative instance. OK and OK. And then go to family types R1 N equals negative R1. Apply. OK, so now they'll match the width of this shape. So so we finished the first one. So if I select these three and it's fine. Reference line. So this is the shape. Okay. Oh, sorry. This is the mm, not this page. Sorry. <laughs> this is the spline we need. So so this one. So this one finished. Then the second one. The second one. I guess this point will be like halfway, half the height. So what we can do is um uh you can just pick. I'm going to just select these two. And uh, create spline and uh, turn it into a reference line and then place a point uh, draw on face and uh, in the center. So if I select it, it will be 0 0.5, which means in the center. And then I'll cre uh, create a line. Oh, sorry, create uh, add a point set with plan. Tap, 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 click and place and OK. So this one will be half height and offset. Let's create a new parameter. Let's call it half h2. Okay. Instance. Okay and okay. So go to family type. H2 equals height divided by two. And apply. And okay. So now we have the middle point. So the uh, the end point is the same same height of these two. So it's Basically, you can just draw a point and then here and then here. So, which will be 0 0.25 and 0 0.75. Yeah. And uh, then you can select these one, two, three points. Spline, reference spline. So now we have the, same, uh, uh, the middle one. So the last one will be the same. So, set the plan. Place point, okay. Drag it, go up that way. Another one here, here. Set the plane, place point, okay. And this one, sorry. Go this way. So this will be the negative. So negative R1. This one will be R1. Nope, this one. R1, okay. So one, two, three. Spline, reference line. So now we have three reference lines. We select them, create form. So this is the shape, and then we just need to cut, cut the edge. So okay, let me temporary hide H H, and then we need to cut this. So one, two, three. Let's try this. One point. Two point, three point, four point. It's fine. Ah, go that way. Control Z. So sometimes you you can't create a a, a spline like at once. So you might need to create it separately. Like a, uh, select this two point, create this part, and then select this 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 spline with this point. So it's time to go this way and then select this sorry tab select this one and then this point so and then go this way. So if you select all of them sometimes it will go other way or like do this. So yeah so we have this one now so change it to reference line and then we will need half this, uh, half this uh, curve ellipse. Okay, so what we need to do is we draw here this one, partial ellipse, and uh, oh, maybe just a reference, some reference, half ellipse, 
So draw from this point to this point. Oh no, it's wrong on the wrong reference plan. So just set work plan. Here I'm just going to change it to reference uh level level and then here here and you can just drag it to so I'll just stop here. Okay, so now we have this half. So if you select select it, so you will have two temporary dimensions. Just uh, make some per permanent, and then this will be R two. R two. Uh, sketch is over constraint. It's fine. So maybe we don't just leave it for now. But this one should be R one. So okay. Okay, I'll just leave it for now. Um, uh, hopefully it won't. It will be fine. Be, yeah. So select this one, and then tab select this one, and create form, void form. This one, the first one, which is solid, and then um, here it's just go the same. We just need to link this offset. So this is a po positive offset. If I drag this one, you will see. So this is a height. I'm going to link this to the height of this point, which is this height. So now, if um, so, you will have this void always the same height of this point. So, and then if I hr, and uh, you will see. So this void automatically cut this face so and uh, let's try because previously we have this dimension here i can't i can't give it a um r, r2 i can't give a the sign this it says all oh, constraint let's see if we'll uh whether it will flex properly let's try with Seven meter looks fine. Nope, that's three meter. Yeah, good. So it's okay, just leave it. And then we just need another one. So temporary hard is HH. HH. Okay, so 1.2.3 and 4. Spline. Yep, this time it go this way, so perfect. And change it to reference line. And then we need a partial uh, ellipse again. So go reference line. So partial ellipse. And then let's set work plan. Set our level, and then draw from this point to this point, and then finish it here and then select select it and then one dimension two dimension okay so it's a little bit oh I'll just leave this three uh thirty five hundred here because yeah so I'll just link this to um R one let's try it again R two Nope. Maybe this one. R two. No. Okay. Let's let's just leave it. So now we have this half ellipse, and then this spline, and then create a, a void form, and then link this to the height of this. Okay. So and then if I hr, so now you can see this shape of this so let's um let's go to let's create a project and then have a test of this family so load this into the project and uh, in 3d view then you can let's try. so see all these 
gray dimensions, which they will have a formula for them. So normally what I do, I will do is just edit them and change them to others. This one, others. So I will only have depth, height, and width. Okay, and load back in, load back into the project. So it's nice. It's yeah, it's nicer here. So we have three, and all the the other dimensions which controlled by the formula will be there. And then five meter depth, height uh, two meter, and uh, uh, six meter. Yeah, so that's the shape of the chips. <laughs> okay, so and also um just uh, one more thing. So if if you need this for a let's say this one, so something like this, a a shade. So you might need a frame, something uh, around that. So it's very easy. Just create a point, a uh, draw on face. Place it and set work plan on this point and draw a profile. So, for example, a circle, um, maybe 100, uh, maybe 175, uh, something like this. So, you can you can add a, a, a radius and then parameter and control it. But I'll, I'll, I'm not going to do it here, so I'm just going to show you how to do it. Um, and then you need to select this edge. So you, you might need to tap a few times. So see, look, tap. So now it's uh, selecting the whole mass. And the tap again. So now it's only the edge. Okay, so move, move to here. Tab, tab, and the control select. So and then this edge. Tab, tab. Control select, tab, 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 control select, and then control select this profile, create a form. So now if I load this into the project, so we have this shape. Yeah, so it's still um, parametric, 3 meter. Yeah, so um, depth four meter, maybe twelve meter. Uh, make it higher, like uh, six meter. Yeah, so okay, so th that's that's it. So yeah, I hope um, you'll find this useful and uh, give you some ideas of mass modeling. Um, Okay, I'll see you next time.